Hello Noble Ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. Today we've got a little unboxing to do. I've just received from Iron Mountain Armory a very nice addition to my uh, Samurai set. Um, it's a weapon, it's a matchlock type arquebus and 16th century of course, just like my armor. So without further ado, let's just, uh, let's open it. Jolly good. Let's talk about this. Um, why did I choose to get this uh, Tanegashi Teppo? Well, first of all, I think that it's a, a very, very interesting piece of kit which belongs to the uh, samurai attire after the um, 16th century, after these were mass produced and copied by uh, the Portuguese models. But I will go into the, uh, the historical details and background of this um, soon when I will actually make a dedicated video on Tanegashi Teppo. But for this one, let's just say just a few uh, personal impressions. Well, first of all, um, the reason why I got this one is because my samurai armor that I own is a 16th century samurai armor. As a matter of fact, it's a, a modern armor or Tose Gusoku. So those kind of samurai armor were built with arquebus fire in mind. So in other words, it sort of granted you um, protection from arquebus bows because of the way it was built and also because of the kind of materials that were used which were resistive and sturdy. So most samurai armors at the time were uh, tested with arquebus fire before you would actually wear them into battle. So again, and, and also we have to consider that at that time a lot of samurais were using these as well. So it's kind of, it's good for completing the set. Now as far as this uh, specific replica is concerned, well I'm quite happy with the looks. It looks very, very nice. It's very well made, very authentic. It was made in Japan. It arrived from Osaka. And what I like about it, the well, first thing, it's quite long. Um, um, and the other thing that I'm quite amazed with is the weight. Um, it does have some weight, as a matter of fact, holding it with, with one hand is a little bit... I mean, I, I couldn't really aim with one, one ha hand. I mean, I can, but as you can see, it takes a bit of effort. So it definitely needs to be wielded two-handed because it does have some weight. But I have to say that it, it weighs less than I had anticipated. So yeah, it does have some weight. I will check the actual weight, um, but it's still lighter than I had anticipated. Alright, so look forward for the actual dedicated video where I will talk about the historical uh, facts about the uh, arquebus, uh, arquebuses and uh, Tanegashima Teppo. And also please note that my following, my next video will be in Italian, it will be about the Second World War, but it will have subtitles. The reason why I've chosen to make a video in Italian is because I've had quite a lot of requests of people asking me to do so. So yes, I will make a video in Italian, it will have subtitles for you uh, to watch it, and uh, but I will continue after that to make videos in English. English. Occasionally I will just make the extra video in Italian, but soon we will have this video here with, with a lot more content. Thank you very much for watching and remember the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.